Hey guys, Dan from Your Guitar Academy and welcome back to lesson 22 in our Intermediate Guitar Gym course and we're on the subject of arpeggios and today minor triad arpeggios across the neck. Okay, so again, we're kind of avoiding the sweep idea for this particular concept and we're doing that shape that you can move across the neck. So some will prefer this, some will prefer the sweep. It's all about giving you the options and training your hands to be able to handle all of this. So you can go from a sweep-like motion to a more kind of picky-picky going up and down the neck. It's all part of the guitar gym magic. So pick up your guitar and let's get started. Okay, so if you've just joined us, don't forget that you can get all the lesson write-ups, interactive tab, and fretboard diagrams absolutely free over on our website. And we'll put the links in the description below and in the video. Also, if you're enjoying this lesson and the course so far, please do leave us a like, hit the subscribe button, and leave us a comment to let us know how you're getting on or if you've got any questions. We do our absolute best to answer every single one of them. Finally, if you're on Instagram and want to share your progress with us, then please do tag us at Your Guitar Academy. We genuinely can't wait to see how you're getting on with this course. One, two, three, four. Okay then guys, so that's the exercise that we're working with and it's the same concept as in the last lesson with the major triad, but now we're doing a minor triad. So it just totally reshapes the idea, okay? But the kind of octave idea is exactly the same. So we're kind of starting down on the low octave, then starting from this octave, and then starting from this octave and just looping the shape, okay? So in, in the instance of minor, I am going to give you two options, okay? You, you saw the one that I played, but I'm going to give you a second option as well. See which one you prefer, okay? Because with minor, um, you know, you've got the root and the minor third there, and the fifth is there. But you could also play that minor third down here. So I'm going root, flat third, fifth. But you might like to do that, or you might like to go root, flat third, fifth. You can play the flat third down there. If you prefer that kind of wide stretch stuff, I'll do that again. Then you can do that shape instead. Okay, I'll show you it all the way through, but the way I've done it is root, flat third, fifth, like that. So root, little finger, third finger. And then you loop that one. So we're gonna then go up the octave and do the same shape. Then go up the octave and do the same shape. And then when we come back down, we end on that, you know, going back down that arpeggio, fifth, minor third, root. Okay, so the question is, what do you prefer? Okay, so maybe you'd prefer to do this. So in that instance, you're going to go second finger on the root, first finger back on the minor third, and then fifth. You could even do a hammer on there if you like. Then you've got your root, again up the octave, flat third, fifth, then up the octave with your second finger, flat third, fifth. So it's up to you, whichever one you prefer. Have a little go with both of those, okay? Remember, with your right hand, you've also got a choice. I would stick personally to economy picking. So I'd go down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, uh, sorry, down, up, down, up, down, up, or up, up, down, actually there. Down, up, down, up, up, down, possibly, although, I wouldn't worry too much about that very last note there, okay? Or you could do alternate picking, so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
again, it's kind of, it's your choice at the end of the day. I personally would stick to the down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. That makes it feel more like a sweep. Okay. The other little bit of advice I'd give here is really try and keep that thumb nice and focused on the back of the neck as you move across. So you literally move shape like that. Try not to kind of get your thumb stuck as you move across, as it were. Some of you might find that that's happening. Really just focus on this exact shape. Moving across the neck, okay? And that means the thumb goes with it at the back as well, exactly where it is. So if you imagine you go from there to there, that thumb just goes with it, not like this. Okay, so with it, like so. So, let's try and get that tripletized across a nice slow drum beat of 60 BPM, okay? And this is what I want you to try and get this to. We're also gonna try and loop it without a break. That becomes quite challenging with this one, but we're gonna give it a go, okay? And I'm gonna go like this. So I'll play it once, just to give you the triplet vibe, and then you should be able to come in and try and do this with me once you've decided which way round you prefer to do it. Um, we'll do it with both ways so you can see, but I'll start with the way that I've done initially here. Um, so one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Now, if you wanted to do it the other way, it would go like this. Oh, <laughs> again. have it guys that's how we're going to put together the minor version of this exercise so we've now got the major and minor sweep on three strings we've got the major and minor sweep on five strings we've got a full across the neck version of the major triad and now a full across the next version of the minor triad you'll probably come to some conclusions as to which ones you prefer maybe you prefer the you know rather than this you know, you can of course, that's A, so I'm in A here. You know, there's definite benefits to each method, okay? So it's worth having them both, but gradually you're gonna find out which ones kind of suit you best, essentially. So try to get up to the speed that we're working with there, 60 BPM, and then in the mega workout at the end, we're gonna really start pushing the speed, but we've got one more exercise to cover first. Okay guys, that's it for now. Thanks again for watching, and when you're ready, please click through to the next video, which you'll find here somewhere, or if you wanna start from the beginning of the course, you can find the full playlist right here. Once again, please do hit that like and subscribe button and leave us a comment to let us know how you're getting on, or if you've got any questions. I'll see you next time.